Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like it's o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom Be Pow Picks Edition. Yes, that's right, where we bring you the finest picks in the land almost daily. In video, anyways, five days a week. I sometimes will surprise and do one on a Saturday, but five days a week I bring you picks. We nail them pretty good. Making good money. Did pretty well tonight again. Um, yeah, hitting it. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, uh, so I got a little trouble. I got a little heat about what I was talking about last night about uh, the Vancouver Canucks, Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, possibly a little something, something going on there. Seems a little odd to me that Vancouver will come out and basically say we're not going to be able to play. Because, you know, Miller, JT Miller did. And then all of a sudden, they're playing, and the, the Leafs should have crushed that game. Crushed it. Now, they did all play Vancouver, but they were shooting anyways. I just think there's something fishy about that game. And I'm still thinking about it. Tell me what you think. Like, think about it. If, if, if the Leafs crushed that game, how does that look on the leak? that they let the Vancouver Canucks team that obviously was not in in red in shape enough to play play after covid like that all that kind of stuff like that you think there might have been a little talk between the teams about you know hey let's settle down on Vancouver here we need to get done in the season all that stuff like that anyways there are some people in the chat that didn't like that and there were some people that agreed, too. So, <laughs> whatever. And I don't even know. I say agreed, but I don't even know if I'm right. There, I got my headset on again. I don't need that on. Why do I wear that every time? Because I'm working, talking, I'm listening to other cappers. Becoming better cappers. That's what this is about. Anyways, I'm going to have picks for you right away here. So we're back. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to do our picks. I'm going to go into deep dive on them for a bit. Then... After that, we're going to talk about the games and just some regular hockey stuff, too. So if you want to, if you don't care about the picks, go to the games and we'll talk about the games and we'll talk about the picks we have for the games and all that kind of stuff like that. The San Jose Sharks, they were uh, brought in yesterday for uh, Perlo's House of Spanking. You might want to go there yourself, Perlo's House of Spanking. It's the best there. I've said it. Started it. About uh, three and a half years ago now, it's very successful. I didn't like going to the spanking institutes, you know, the generic ones like the Starbucks of spanking institutes. I didn't like it. So I, I started my own. And I had to bring them in because they were just horrible. Tampa Bay Lightning are next. They're coming in, although they did win tonight. So maybe. But they're looking terrible as well. Okay, let's look at our picks for... The 20th of April. Here we are. Okay. I kind of, the first, this Buffalo-Boston game, I went back and, I've been going back and forth on it. Can Buffalo keep it up against Boston? The more I looked at it, Boston actually has played quite a bit. Buffalo's going to play hard. They've shown now that they are going to play hard and they're playing a confident brand of hockey. I just think Boston needs this too badly. I, 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 I think they're going to pull it out. But I could understand anybody taking a PL on here. And I may still do that yet. I, I, I'm really not sure about this spread. You're getting one, 191. On plus one and a half on Buffalo. That is cray cray. That's probably the value pick. Buffalo plus one and a half. They're at home. They've been crushing it. They just beat Pittsburgh. This is a different kettle of fish though. Because this is Taylor Hall coming back. Which should have them even trying to crush it more. Man I think. I think I'm going to end up going PL here. Tukarski has looked really good. The thing is, we're talking about Tuka Rask here. This isn't Jari. This isn't Elliot or 
Carter Hart. This is Tuka Rask. That is probably going to be playing this game. So I, I'm, I, I'm not so sure I'm comfortable with Boston in regulation at 156. Man, I think the play is Buffalo for three. I'll just do it. Just do it. Total. It would seem... If Buffalo's going to win that game, Tukarski's going to have to go off. Because I don't think they're going to score enough on Ras to push this on to and over. So why don't we cover our bet? Because if Boston wins a game, it's pretty well likely that it's because they scored a lot on Tukarski. Now, I'm going to go under. Under five and a half. Under five and a half. Okay. Florida versus Columbus Blue Jackets. I can't back Columbus Blue Jackets anymore, but I said that about the San Jose Sharks, who are now beating Vegas 2-1 to one right now. I don't like teams that are... I don't like taking teams that are on a back-to-back, -back, no matter who they are, against a team that's not. But I did take Vegas. I did take Vegas in this game. Only money line, though. So they can still come back. You know? And they're a great third-period team. However... I'm going back to Florida again. Rigger is going to be in net. He's the better goaltender. Uh, Corpusalo is not a good goaltender at all. I'm going to lean the over for what I just mentioned. I generally don't like going over on back to backs, but when you're talking about a goaltender like Corpusalo being in, I'm leaning more towards it. He's just that bad. The problem is, is Columbus going to score enough on Drigger to push that over? Mm, 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 mm. I'm really on the fence about that. 4-1. 4-1. I'm going to switch that to an under. Under and Florida. Uh, I would even go possibly in regulation there. Yeah, in regulation. Florida in regulation. Next game. Uh, Islanders versus Rangers. Tough one to cap. The Islanders have just not themselves at all. Now, they've crushed it at home, but not lately. And I'm pretty sure the trend is the Islanders all day here. Shesterkin will be in net, and probably Varlamov will be in net. Shesterkin has been just rocking it, and the Islanders can't score. I'm going the Rangers. I'm going the Rangers for, what, 210? Why not? I don't know if I'll put a ton on it, but I've been saying all year that the Rangers were going to come back and probably and possibly get a playoff spot, so I might as well stick with what I said. Um, as far as the total, look at that. The total is 177 to the under, 187 to the under. Makes sense, actually. I can't see the Islanders scoring enough, and if, they, if the Islanders win, it's going to be under. So let's cover 187. Under. If the Rangers win, it's probably going to be under. So it's got to be under. 187. Take the under. Tampa Bay versus uh, the Carolina Hurricanes. I can't believe Tampa Bay pulled it out against Carolina this last game. I uh, didn't get to watch it. I sh um, Tampa Bay hasn't been playing well. Anyways, unless they're going back to back with this, uh, uh, Vasilevsky here, McElhaney is going to be in net. I am not trusting McElhaney. Anytime, anywhere. I'm going back to Carolina again. And I'm going to the over. Because Carolina can score a lot. And McElhinney sucks. And Reimer will be in that. And he's not great either. So Tampa Bay will score. Probably the best bet is the over on that game. Pittsburgh versus New Jersey. you got to figure that uh, Pittsburgh is going to be pissed after that loss to Buffalo. Um, which doesn't bode well for New Jersey. I don't think New Jersey has all that much confidence right now. Um, just lost like four or five straight to the Rangers. Um, yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to definitely take Pittsburgh here. Um, money, look at, they're getting, they're getting 136. to go in regulation. I got it. I got it. New Jersey's just been too bad. I, I just can't take them here.
Yeah, Pittsburgh in regulation over six. Dallas versus Detroit. Uh, we had Detroit PL. Uh, well, I'll look at that the next time. We can find out what we had next time. Uh, what's going on with Bernier? I don't know. They play Grice here. Bernier should be in in this game. Dallas is desperate for, for wins. Ottinger should be in. The big play here is the under again. With Ottinger and Bernier, if they're going to be in there, I like the under for sure. As far as the, I think Dallas will probably win this money line. But you could Detroit PL would be the play though, as far as would be the value. Again, one seventy four for Detroit to keep it close. You might as well go that because you're not going to get much on the money line for Dallas. I don't. 145, yeah, it's not very good. Okay, Vancouver versus Toronto. Um, uh, we I just talked about this beforehand. That was something fishy about that game. And now they can have a blowout, and it's not going to seem so bad. i got to figure Toronto's going to win this game. I have to figure that they're going to win this game. Campbell didn't play well. Holfi is not a good goaltender. He's not going to have two good games in a row, is he? Vancouver should be taxed, and they still have a lot of guys that are not going to be in the lineup. It's just got to be. Toronto's got to take this game. I got to take it in regulation because there's nothing else there. If Vancouver even comes close in this game, I don't know. Uh, Anaheim versus Los Angeles. Anaheim's pretty much mailed it in, I think. Um, however, yeah. You're getting good juice with LA. Take LA. Under, 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 under. For sure. Total. Under is the play. Take LA money line and under. That's my full 42, boys and girls. That's all I have to do. Um, geez, look at that. It's 1223. No, it's not. What am I talking about? We didn't even talk about the games that happened tonight. So all of you that wanted the picks and all that kind of stuff like that, I provide this service for you. You get all the picks. Um, now, if you you might notice that some of the picks I just did there were different than last night. They can change. That's why we go on Patreon and uh, my Patreon, which I put the link in the in the description here. It's free for the rest of the month. You can check it out. And if it's getting close to the end of the month, I'll probably give you another month. Check it out. See if you like it. If you don't, whatever. People are making money now and we're having fun. Isn't that what it's all about? Right. Okay. You go off to your other lands and save in the world or whatever you do. And uh, go find your uh, Tito, your bookie there, and give him those picks and make some money. Let's go to our games for the 8th, 19th. Right? Yeah. The 20th tomorrow, the 19th. Um, okay, so now the one I was just talking about here, I you got to figure the Golden Knights are out shooting them twenty six to eighteen. Who got the penalty? Somebody got a penalty. Yeah. yeah, San Jose just got a penalty. Vegas rocks in the third period. They're going to come back and take this for sure. Anyways, we have the Golden Knights. For we have the Golden Knights. So let me take a look at it here. Just for Golden Knights and under six money line for medium pearls and under six for a unit. Even if we get it, it's it's a unit. I really I only want money line. Why did I go only money line? Because Vegas is on a back to back and they just scored, so they just tied it up. They're on a back to back. It's tough to beat any team on a back to back. I don't care who it is, even a crappy team like. San Jose Stone scored. It's one of my favorites in the league by far. I'm starting these gold ha, ha, these gold helmets are starting to grow on me. It's they're funny, man. I, I I get it. I get it. Kids would love it, and I think that's really what it's all about. Like kids would love it. More and more, Vegas is starting to creep up on the over the Edmonton Oilers for me. I really love their organization. Anyways. Uh, and I want to live there. 
Well, where are we there? Why, why don't we go back here? Okay. See, 2-2. Two, two. Look at that. They just scored 29 shots on goal. Uh, lightning and Hurricanes, we talked about this. We had one unit on the light on the Hurricanes and one unit on the under, I believe. This is my Patreon, by the way. That's what I'm looking at. Medium on the Hurricanes, sorry. And one unit on... And I end under it was a wash. We lost like maybe quarter of a quarter of a pearl on that because um, we had medium pearls on the under end on the Hurricanes to win that game. I really thought they were going to win it. I just don't have much faith in Tampa Bay right now. They'll probably turn it around, but. Until I see it, I can't do much about it. It was a big win against the Hurricanes, and they, they, you know, maybe they can just turn it on. Most teams can't do that. Panthers versus the Blue Jackets. We had all, we were all over the Panthers. Large pearls on the Panthers on this one. And we had the under, I believe. No, over, but it was six. So, no, no, it wasn't. It was five and a half. We had the over, that's right, and we had the Panthers. So up there, a little bit of loss we took here. There's nothing really much because we got big on that one. Stars versus the Red Wings. We had the Red Wings PL for a unit, and we had the under for a unit. So we got another unit and a half or close to it there. This one messed us up. We had – I. I if you, uh, this is one where I changed it, and I never should have changed it. Because in the video last night, anybody listen what it took the Preds, because I said the Preds. I changed it to the Blackhawks PL. And like I was saying about my pick, there was a pick yesterday I had that, oh, it was the under in the New Jersey Rangers game. I was like, what was I doing with that pick? I, sometimes I just don't know why I do what I do. Anyways, we lost about four pearls on that. So we're, we're down now, but we gained it back here. No worries. Uh, we gained it back here. Um, we had the wild for a unit and the under. No, even. Sorry, even. We didn't gain it. We had the wild. I wasn't, for some reason, I was on the Coyotes a bit here with Kemper in there. Um, so we actually, it was kind of a wash on this. So we're down about, I think it was about a unit and a half now. Um, I went, I was, if you watch my video last night, I had the Senators PL and for some reason I changed my mind and I went the Flames money line, but only for a unit and we end a wash on the over under. So we were good there. Then we came, now we're up, we're up here because we had five pearls on the Oilers. And a unit on the under. And the Oilers paid five, paid, so that's one. This was our big pick of the day. This was our money pick of the day. Our the Perlo's play of the day, I like to call it. So I change it all the time. Uh, if you're a Patreon member, you get this if you have, if you're on the top tier. Five units, it's 163.24, some just over four units. So we're up three and a half units, five, four and a half units. And we hit a tennis pick, uh, one for one on baseball. I, I don't play a lot of those right now um, because uh, I have people that give me those picks. Once baseball starts, I'll have once hockey's done, I'll get more people helping me in that area. Uh, and you'll get more picks over at Patreon for the, for all the other sports. I got a great UFC guy, Brand. You can check him out, Capper Comparison. He has a video on there. He videos, you can watch it. And he takes all the cappers out there and he tells you what they're all picking. And then he makes his own pick. And then he sends me his favorite picks. And I put them up there and he's great. Cappers comparison, check them out. So that's my full 42% boys and girls. Let's do a little Perlo dance on our way out here, shall we? Yes. Come on, everybody. Jacket, Gideon, good job, Gideon. Gideon, Gideon is on jacket, Gideon, Avatar, Cerrone. 
Serrano, I mean, Freddie Mercer, or Mercer, Freddie Mercer, Mercer, uh, Steel, all of these guys, Perla Dance with me, Perla Dance, come on, John from Off the Wall Hockey won't do it. So when you're on his live, Off the Wall Hockey's live, go over there and subscribe to him and tell him that he must Perla Dance, okay? Do that for me. Tell him he has to. Um, anyways, we do a show from 3 to 5 daily, 5 days a week, Monday to Friday. I'll be on tomorrow. Check it out on this channel, 3 to 5. It's fun. We do picks. You get points. There's fabulous virtual prizes. Much frolic. Frolic is awesome. Makes me feel all warm and fuzzy on my insides. And that is a good thing. Always want to feel warm and fuzzy on your insides. Okay, boys and girls, that's our full 42. I hope I see you all tomorrow, 3 to 5. Okay, bye.